what's up everyone welcome back to the channel so uh, before I start this video off I just want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel um, all the positive feedback the comments the likes we are currently sitting at almost 5,000 subscribers right now and the channel's been up for almost a month well no it's been up for a month I think um, and it's been moving pretty quickly man it's it's crazy uh, I'm not I'm not too too familiar with YouTube yet I'm learning as I go but uh, I got friends that are YouTubers, and they're like, man, you're uh, you're doing great, and I, I guess I must must be doing something right, you know. So I just want to get that out of the way and say thank you. Um, today is Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas to everybody watching. As you can see, I'm out here, you know, we're in Wisconsin. I'm back in my truck. I picked it up Wednesday, and um, man, I just been getting slammed in snow <laughs> every single day. It's been it's been crazy. It's been a a, a crazy week for me. My last video was eight days ago, and uh, I've been trying to record content, but it, the, just uh, the weather isn't helping. The temps are really crazy. They're like in the negatives. And if you guys follow me on social media and seen my posts or whatever, it's just been it's been crazy. I drove through a blizzard the other day um, out in Michigan, and that was terrible. But uh, we made it through. We got loaded. We got unloaded in Wisconsin, and uh, that's all that matters, you know. But. I'm currently on my way to Minnesota. I gotta pick up some snowbirds. For those of you guys that know, don't know what snowbirds are, uh, it's just people that have vacation homes in Florida and you know want to get out of this stuff. So, just like me, I'm, I'm ready to go home. But I choose, I, you know, I chose to stay out here for Christmas because my wife works. So there's no point on me going home and you know spending Christmas alone. We both live a pretty busy uh, lifestyle with work. And stuff so uh, I decided to go home for New Year's and you know spend New Year's with the family and with her and the kids and stuff so um, but yeah we're gonna go load these snowbirds tomorrow uh, my little brother's supposed to be meeting me up tomorrow he's actually out here also working and yeah guys we'll see what uh, you know what we get into so uh, stay tuned here to get something to eat real quick uh we're in northern wisconsin and i kind of want to show you guys what's going on out here this thing is caked with snow and this is probably the dirtiest you ever seen this truck she needs a good wash i'll probably wash her on the way down to florida and uh and then probably wash her again when i get home but she is caked man i did buy some uh negative 30 windshield wiper fluid so what i do is i uh kind of spread it out all over this right here and it melts the ice i already did i already uh spilled some and uh because this thing was like caked you could you couldn't see the holes these holes you can't see them the, the snow was like up to here so i kind of spilled some here and over there and i got some more with me uh that i'm gonna be using tomorrow just to get rid of that ice but yeah man she's been through a tough week That blizzard was no joke, man. I couldn't see nothing. But uh, I had to make it out of there, man. Uh, luckily, luckily I was out of there. I made it to Indiana like at five in the morning. And then like a few hours later, uh, there was like a nine truck pileup. I don't know if you guys seen that on the news or not, but there was a nine truck pileup on 94 and it was terrible. Um, but I made, you know, made it through and we got unloaded. And now we're here, man. We're almost on our way home, so. Yeah, look at this right here. You can't even see my tag. That's like two degrees right now out here. Look at that guy over there working, man. He's savage. Yeah, man, I just wanna, you know, give a shout out to all the drivers out here today, man. It's, you know, Christmas day and, uh, we're out here grinding it out, man. So this truck stop, I usually stop here and uh, 
you know, when I'm on my way to Michigan, uh, Minnesota, and I usually stop here, it's jam packed with trucks, and there's not, there's nobody out here right now. So, but yeah, guys, we're gonna go go inside, get something to eat, and uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Uh, out 
here for New Year's, me and my brother. My brother you're gonna meet tomorrow, he can tell you. We were stuck out here for New Year's. We loaded out of uh, Seattle, Washington on our way home for New Year's and uh, we got caught up in a blizzard. And we couldn't make it home on time. We were stuck literally in uh, North Dakota for like four days until they opened the, the, the road back up again. So, and this is trucking, man. Like I said, uh, it's part of the game. You know, you come out here, you work, you don't know where you're coming back home. So, I'm just speaking facts right now. So, but yeah, you know, these are uh, two main questions I get asked and I uh, just want to get it out of the way. Not that it bothers me, guys, you know, I, I like answering questions. So, and I just look, I read through the comments and uh, I just pick, pick and choose. Which is, it's one thing I'm going to start doing. I'm going to pick and choose some questions and I'm going to answer them for you guys. But, uh... Yeah, guys, we are making our way to uh, Clearwater, Minnesota, um, two hour, two and a half hours away, and uh, I'm just going to keep rolling, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Welcome back. We are here in Clearwater, Minnesota. Uh, we are parked at a golf course right now. So this is where we meet up our customers. The snowbirds, uh, they usually come over here all at once at a certain time. It's two o'clock right now. The, uh, my cars are already here. I'm just missing one, which is a Porsche 911. My brother's still uh, over there with his customers. He's uh, running, running inspections on their cars and stuff like that. And uh, you can probably see him over there. He's dealing with some people but uh there goes my porsche over here so i'm gonna handle this guy over here and uh we're gonna start loading this truck all right so catch you in a bit all right guys so we already took care of the porsche um told the guy to park it right there did my little inspection and you know took my pictures so i got two deliveries and i gotta order them in, i gotta load them in order i got this uh cx5 the Porsche and the Enclave over there, the white Enclave, they're all going to a storage lot near the airport because these guys, I'll be down there Thursday. These guys don't fly in until like the 31st. So when they fly in, um, literally the storage lot is about a mile away from the airport. So they'll be able to get their cars there. What's up? What's up? That's my little brother right there. My little big brother. <laughs> You're going to put this one on number two? Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yeah, I got the um, this one, uh, the Enclave, the CX-5, and the Porsche are going to the Park Smart. Which one? This one? Yeah, this one, the Porsche, and the CX-5. So I was going to put the... I'm gonna put that one on number two and put the Porsche on number three facing forward. Yeah. I was going to put the CX-5 over the hood, this one on number two, and then the uh, Porsche behind the cab. Where down there? And put that Audi uh, up behind another cab. I don't know. We'll see. No. Because you need to get that Porsche off to take the car out of the city. No, I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna load those three on on the truck and then load everything else on the trailer. So I should be fine. I just need you to spot me with the Porsche. What are you gonna do? Make it fast, Bob. Yeah. All right. So. Um, 
Yeah, that's my little brother right there. So yeah, we're gonna put the Enclave, the Porsche, and the CX-5 on the truck. So when I get to my deliver my first drop location, which is the rest area in Fort Myers, I'm gonna unload the whole trailer and I'm just gonna have the three on the truck and I don't have to touch anything on there. So, all right, so we're gonna start off by the CX-5 over here. I mean, these cars are all, uh, they're like, it's a, it's a mixed unit load. They're not all big. So I can kind of load them however I feel. You know, it's not, it's not a, you know, like the trucks that we, uh, we did in my previous video, you know, those trucks, usually you got to load them a certain way, but these, these cars right here, they're kind of small units. You can kind of put them here and there and, uh, you'll be good on height and good on weight. So I'm going to start off with this one right here and go over the hood with this one. And these, these people drive, man. Like, look, look at this guy. This guy's, he's ready to go to Florida. Look at that. He guys. Just fishing poles with him and all. This guy's ready to go to Florida. Yeah, I don't blame him. I do not blame him. I'm ready to go to Florida too. All right, so. All right, so just like my previous video with the trucks, I'm gonna line the truck, the car up with the ramps. Make sure you're nice and straight. Straight up. Nice and easy. I'm gonna get off real quick and uh, move my straps out of the way. I forgot to do that. So. straps out of the way yeah guys I'm ready to go to Florida I'm ready to get out of here easy all right just want to make sure I'm even on the deck I just usually use the other the passenger side mirror to make sure I'm nice and even see this is where uh where people say I'm picky just because you know I like to I like my car to be even on the deck man I like I like everything to look good so there we go. Put it in park, e brake. Alright, so we got the first one on. Now we're gonna strap it. These cars are all wheel strap. You do not have to strap to the frame at all, so. Makes it easy. like that I'm gonna fold these in because usually uh, they'll fold back like that if you don't fold these in they'll fold back like that because the wind the wind is hitting it so I usually fold them in just like that yeah thankfully it's uh it's pretty warm today man it, like these these uh these past few days have been crazy like it's like you don't even want to work just because it's so cold right, just like that fold this one in right here
on there. Now we're gonna put the enclave right here. And uh, I'm gonna lower my deck all the way down just to make it easier for me. You know, I don't like to, uh, if, I, if, I can, if I can load it from the ground, it's way better for me. You know, I don't, I don't like to mess around up there and especially how it is right now, you, don't, you do not wanna slip and fall. So, so we're gonna put the enclave up here and the Porsche is gonna go down here. So I'll lift my deck a little bit. Get these locks off. Do this lock right here. what I was telling you telling you guys I showed you guys this yes well I, I spoke about it yesterday uh, this is what I use to melt the ice so as you can see all this right here was covered in ice and uh, I kind of you see if you can see it here well, I kind of broke it already but I drilled little holes here and I kind of just you know all around all this and uh, you can see it melted most of the the ice and snow on here all this right here was caked so I kind of you know, I was able to clean that out because I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't even see my my straps. I couldn't see this down in here, you know. So this works. This stuff works. This windshield wiper fluid really works. All right, so we're gonna go get. Uh, we're gonna lower my deck. Go grab the enclave and put it on my number two deck. So yeah, these guys got. A crazy amount of snow up here I don't know man I can't do it I can't live up here I wouldn't be able to live up here honestly you can tell it's cold look how slow how slow it moves Usually this is like, you know, goes up and down pretty quickly, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cold out here, so. Here, just toss them to the side. Toss it to the side. We'll always want to move your straps out of the way. deck down here there we go all right let's go grab the enclave put it up here secure it and then we gotta load the porch which is gonna, which is gonna be a little fun, but I'm pretty sure we can get her on there.
same deal. Stick your head out the window. Just ride the edge. All the way up. Oh, this thing has that motion sensor where it stops by itself. I hate this thing. Set her in park, hit the e-brake button. Alright. Alright now uh, we're gonna strap this real quick and load the Porsche. This video is going to be a little long, but I think it's going to educate you guys a little bit, you know, on uh, how to do this around, you know, in these conditions. So, all right, so now we're going to strap this real quick. I kind of want to slide this deck out just a little bit so I can get the my second hook in the holes. So what I'll do is I'll slide it out a little bit. So I kind of slid this out right here. I want to hook the hook in here. So you got two hooks right there. I'm going to go over the tire just like that. Just like that. Make sure it's nice and centered on the tire. Grab your second hook and stick it in here. There you go, just like that. So that's how you want it. We got all four straps on the tires. Now we're gonna have to raise this deck all the way up in order to get the Porsche down there. But before we put the Porsche down there, I'm gonna have to slide my fifth wheel because it's stretched out right now. So when I slide this bridge out, I'm gonna slide it out right now. As as you know, as it's stretched out, it's only gonna make it up to here. So I gotta slide my fifth wheel in in order to stretch that out, and it's gonna lay on on top of this. All right, so we're gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna load the Porsche. So we got all the straps out of the way now and before uh, I slide my fifth wheel and you know uh, stretch the bridge out 
there's these these uh these flippers here i have them set up right now to load an suv all right as you can see there's some some hinges here this is where it mounts to these hinges then you got some hinges up here so i kind of want to move i want to move uh this flipper up to these hinges because that porch is so low when uh when i back it in here i don't want this this bottoming out down here so i want to move these uh these flippers up here to these hinges and uh it's not it won't bottom out so we're gonna move that right now and then slide my fifth wheel stretch the bridge out and get the porch down here So we're all set up now. As you can see, they're both even. There's no step right here, so we know the, the porch is not gonna bottom out. Now we're gonna slide our fifth wheel and hope, and pray to God, this thing slides because uh, we're literally on ice right now. So let's see how this works out. Get down. All right, guys. So we ended up uh, having to break that loose because it was bro, it was frozen. So now we slid the fifth wheel in. Now we got our bridge stretched out. We're ready to put the Porsche on there right now. Hey, stretch the back, the back out. All right. We'll see how this goes, guys. It's a little sketchy. Porsche 911 Carrera S. Shit. And it's not even automatic, so we'll see how this works. All right. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun and sketchy. Hey, well, we're gonna go for it, so. Let's see how this works. gotta see because I can't see anything. I don't know. Wait. Hey, drop the top. Yeah, right? I should drop the top on this. Yeah, how do you drop the top on this? Here we go. Yeah, let's drop the top, make it easier. There we go. Come on now, drop the top in winter time. There we go. Alright. <laughs> this lady thinks we're towing cars away. No, we're not. She, yeah, I know. I heard her. She said we're towing cars away. Look at that. Look at that. Like a glove. Let's scoot over a little bit. Or what? Good there? Leave two holes. I can't see the holes. All right, I can see them now. There you go. Am I good there? Yeah. Before you go in, uh, put the top one out. Back 
Yeah, let me put the top go, back go, up. Go, 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 go. Am I good? Go, go, go. I think I think go, it should be good. Go, yep. Go, go. Go. Before you hit back there, that that back part it goes out. All right, yeah. Let's put the tap back on. There we go. it up to those uh, hooks back down behind the tire yeah. and I can hook it back there yeah but the hook up here is right. the other side flipped forward or what the other side of yeah yeah guys forward. this is how it's done Frozen? Got it? Uh, stay there and I'll turn it Alright. Yeah, these cars are a little sketchy, man, especially around this time of uh, year. And especially the stick shift. If it was automatic, then eh. But, uh, yeah, we got her on here and we're gonna put four straps on her. Go back? Go back? Right. I'm gonna go back. But this is the perfect spot for this car. Mar? Boat? Good? All right. How does this e-brake work? I think it's, uh... There we go. All right. Leave it in gear. Shut her off. Bam. That's it. That's how it's done. Appreciate you. All right. There you have it, guys. All right, so now we're going to strap this, lower this deck, and then get to the trailer. So, um, I have eight cars here, and then I got to drive south, like another 17 miles, and then pick up my, uh, pick up my last car, which is going to be a Honda Odyssey. So, that's no biggie. We're going to finish up here and whoa it is nice and slippery we're gonna finish up here and um head to my last one pick it up and roll on to florida so man this thing just gave me the hardest time it was it was uh frozen so i couldn't like i mean i had to break it loose with a hammer and uh a little bit of alcohol and we got loose and we we're able to slide it so you know but horses on there now we gotta load one two in the middle three out the back four and then five here in the middle down here and then my last one i'm picking up uh somewhere down south i'm like 17 miles from here so so this is gonna be my first delivery so we don't want to put this up front uh we got this audi here and then we have the Rogue and the Highlander, which I might do the Highlander. I like this one right here. This is the one we're gonna put on right now, and then we might go with uh, we might go with the Rogue, and then the Audi maybe. So we'll see. All right, so we're gonna back this one on. Um, we can either drive it on or back it on, but I like the way it looks backed on, so we're gonna back it on here. All right. Same deal, stick your head out the window. Straight up, small edge. There we go. Kind of want to go right about 
there. Set the e-brake. Shut her off. Pull these mirrors in. Alright, so now we're gonna most likely load the row here. It's smaller, so on these trailers, these 80 footers, you want to kind of put like a mid-size SUV like this one right here. And then you want to put something smaller right here, like a Nissan Rogue. And then you can put something bigger back here. Um, maybe like another Highlander or whatever. So so it'll, it'll go uh, mid-size SUV, smaller SUV, and then mid-size SUV, you know. And then you always want to check here. So you saw I backed it up. This is kind of the room you want right here. You can probably go a little closer. I could have backed it up just a smidge more, but you kind of want to go, I mean, remember you got to turn. So you don't want these two cars hitting each other. So you kind of want to have space right here in the middle, have some space there. So I think we're going to go with the, the Nissan, the, either the Rogue or the Trailblazer. We'll see. On there. Nice and easy. And then you want to kind of you want to kind of watch your backup camera here, which is covered in snow. You can't see anything, but back her on in. There we go. Set her in park. E brake. Shut it off. All right. So I already kind of know where I want this car. As you can see, look how much room I have here. I always want these back tires to stop in between these two uh, uh, drop pockets. So you see it, it's right in the middle. So I already kind of got it set where when I back a car on, I know when it stops here, I should be good over here. Sometimes that's not gonna work, all right? It all depends on the size of the cars you're putting up here. But if you put like a mid-size SUV, small SUV and a mid-size SUV back there, this is where you wanna be at right here, all right? So you're gonna have that room right there and that's plenty of room. All right, so now we're gonna go get the Audi. Alright, so that's where you want it. Set your e brake. Right, guys so i'm gonna secure all these cars right now i'm gonna put all the straps on them and we're gonna start loading the bottom all right so all right guys so we got the cars on there they're already strapped and secured got all four wheel straps on there now we are gonna raise this deck all the way up and we're gonna load the bottom all right so uh i'm only gonna load two down here like i said I gotta pick one up down south, which is gonna go back here. Or what I might do is I might just put one in the belly down there and then put this one, the Acura MDX back here. And then when I get to my last pick, I just unload it, throw the Honda Odyssey right here just in the slant like this. And, um, and that's it guys. So, all right, so we're gonna start li lifting these decks.
right, guys, so we got the decks down already. Um, we turn on the Christmas lights. Now all we gotta do is uh, we gotta drop this deck right here, and we gotta pin all these decks. So we'll pin it right there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is how I know they're even. There's a little pinhole right here. You can't barely see it, but there's a little pinhole right there. And then I'll start. I'll count from that pinhole down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight holes open. Then we'll come back here. Look, you can see the pinhole here. Way better. There's a little pinhole right there. So. And this might, I'm gonna have to go a little higher. Well, that's fine. Put it right here. Just like that. All right. So we got from the pinhole down. We got one, two, three open. And then. So, same thing over here. So from the pinhole, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so now we know what we got on the other side. So we'll do five open on this side. One, two, three, four, five. And then we got three on that side over there. Now we want three over here. All right, and now over here, we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I remember, I think it was seven. Yeah, sometimes we forget, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so. See, if I would have pinned it at seven, the deck would have been all sideways and stuff, so. All right, so eight. So now that everything is pinned, we want to drop our decks. We're gonna drop it, drop the back, and then drop the front. There you go, everything's pinned. Now we wanna drop this one right here, my number two deck. We're gonna go low with that. So we'll drop it right here. So we're finally loaded already. As you can see, she's ready to head down to Florida. Man, look at that, uh, look at that sunset, man. It's beautiful out here. But yeah, I gotta go grab one more down south, about 17 miles from here. My brother's already loaded. So he's gotta go grab one in Iowa City, which is further down south. He has eight like me right now. And um this is this truck, man. This is a 2007 Boyson setup. It's an older truck, I mean, but he takes real good care of it. He's an owner operator. He's owned it for about five years. And uh, what, what happened? Count the keys. Yeah, I gotta count the keys. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, he just redid the motor on it. It's a, I know it's a Acert. It has an 18-speed 308 rear ends. It's a pretty nice truck, I mean. 
he um, like I said he's owned it for five years and takes good care of it so I actually drove this truck back in 2012 and I traveled the whole country in this thing But yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Hope you guys learned something new. Uh, like I said, I still gotta go grab one more. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put that in here because it, as you can see, it's already getting dark and I'm trying to get out of here. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe guys. Happy New Year's to everybody. If, you know, if I don't, if I don't get back on here and make another video, but uh, you know, it's been a great year for me. So, all right guys, catch you in the next one.